made some mistakes before <laughs> when I've come on this show. Michelle, she's, she's the most rock and roll guest we've ever had on the show. Last time she came on, she needed a bucket. Oh. <laughs> it was fact. very it was chic. It was very chic. Oh, to yeah. be young again. <laughs> <laughs> but this time I'm being a pro, and my mum was also like, if you do that again, I will kill you. <laughs> now, last time you were on the show, you were, we were talking about this word, which I can't say. It's called... Syn Synesthesia. Synesthesia, where you see music in colours. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, so every time you hear music, it forms itself in different... Shades of colours. What did you think of the flute? I what colour? Honestly, the flute was bringing me multicoloured rainbow I see situation. Very, Glorious. I see it's a very dark colour. Yeah, dark. <laughs> ominous. So, <laughs> but there are colours that you <coughs> like and don't like yes. musically. Yes. So colours you like? Purple, pink, black, silver. And ones you don't? Well, it's sort of changed because right. like my whole new single is based around the colour green. But I used to kind of hate that colour, but now I'm like, I love green! Green's my colour, so green is in the good pile now. But brown, yellow... So, all right, so you're a prolific writer. You write for myriad people, unbelievably big names. Are you writing in colours? Are you writing in notes or a combination of both? I just kind of write the song and then the colour thing, like, when I hear the song when it's done, it sort of, like, helps me think about music videos and, like, is it, is, Do you see it as a positive, Charlie? Yeah, it's it's yeah. quite fun, you know. It just it just helps me visualize the song a bit more, you know. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Okay, well let's um do some cooking now. How cool. is your how is your cooking? Terrible. How were you last time you came on? Um probably not great. <laughs> I don't know. My my mum is like a really great cook. So technically I should be a good cook. But I'm not. My mum... Didn't you, used to have, didn't you tell us last time you used to have dinner parties but get your mum to cook the food for them? Yeah, and I'd lie and say I did it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But she's a great cook, so she's um, Indian, so cooking is such a huge part of her culture. Like, she grew up, right. like, really cooking a lot. She's an incredible cook, and her whole family is. But I'm just really rubbish, so I'm kind of a failure in that sense, but I make up for it in other ways. I think you've done all right with music, yeah. yeah. OK, yeah. so um, let's... Uh... Well, we're going, to do, uh, we're going to do a baked cheesecake, but it's a savoury cheesecake. So if you imagine, uh, you know, when you make a quiche, then it's kind of eggs and it's kind of cream, yeah. so you can do the similar thing using cheese. And savoury cheesecakes, they're, they're not unusual. And I, I really like making them, so the base is... Oat um, cakes and butter. So I'm not sure I've ever had one, though. Have you ever had a savoury cheesecake? No, no, I'm, I'm not excited. sure I've had one. It's a really nice flavour. So we're using oat cakes, so, you know, like a, a biscuit type of cheese rather than a sweet biscuit. Mm. Then we've got cauliflower, some um, Italian-style hard cheese, because it's all completely veggie. Then we've got ricotta, we've got eggs, we've got parsley, cheddar cheese and uh, cream cheese. Sorry, ricotta and cream cheese. OK. So what we've done with the base, we've crushed that, put the butter into there, crush it into the base like any normal cheesecake would be. So first job, Charlie is we need to make florets from oh, the cauliflower. Pressure. So what we do is you literally... Get rid of those. Is... Wow, it's a workout. <laughs> with the little knife, yeah. just come right down like that okay. and literally just come round the circle and the florets will wanna, fall away. I don't want to critique you, but couldn't you have used a knife and cut them off? I could, yeah. OK, but okay. You, were just, you were just showing that. Oh, I'd like to show how manly and tough <laughs> I am, Tim. <laughs> Any chance look at, to show. Look at, <laughs> look at me, look at I me. can turn. I'm ripping a cauliflower. Cauliflower stalks yeah. with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, it's the kind of guy I am these days. <laughs> OK. I was impressed by that. Am I doing it right? I'm yeah, worried. I'm wor is it? Are you just saying that? It's good. And then what will happen is, right. when that comes out... Oh, yeah. Oh! Hey. And we have florette <laughs> magic. Great. Wow, look at that. And then all you do is literally them. Break them like that. I'm going to put there. this knife down. Beautifully done. Great. Go for it. Oh, right, right break it, it. Do it. And okay. we're going to roast it. So the thing with the cauliflower is, if you boil cauliflower, it tastes a bit... a bit nothing. Roasting it just gives you that real depth of flavour. You get rid of all the water and you get far more flavour in it. Your mum would agree with that. OK, And then great. we sprinkle on half of this cheese, salt and pepper, a little touch of oil, and then you roast it for about... 20 minutes or so, mm -hmm. and we end up with this. So this is our delicious roasted cauliflower with the cheese on. Amazing. Right? So that's, that's the only difficult bit in this entire thing, cutting the florets with the cauliflower. Next thing you do is we're going to whisk a bit of stuff. So oh. tip all of that into there. OK. Yeah. And then... What are, those two, what are the, these again? Cream cheese and ricotta cheese. Oh, OK. So you could use all cream cheese. Ricotta just softens it a little bit. Yeah. And goes the rest of that. And just start yeah. mixing that, really. Yeah, great. Cool. Nice. Meanwhile, with all of this and all the little cheesy bits into our base, 
that's sitting there. This is why it's like a quiche. You know, if you do a quiche, mm -hmm. you do like something that's got an ingredient in. You mm -hmm. normally put that in the base of the quiche. Okay. You liking this so far, Tim? The smell of the cauliflower is delicious. That's all, that's all I can smell at the moment. Do you like a job? Yes, I'd love one. Do you like to grate some cheddar cheese? Mm -hmm. I know you hate grating. <laughs> you can chop parsley for an old grate. Yeah. Well, you, you, you stand there, then we'll swap sides. Oh, I feel uncomfortable standing here. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I have to have knowledge on food. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about parsley, Tim. Parsley, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. It's, can, can we get my technique? Well, some, yeah, that's some good yeah, that's getting better. Very good technique. Yeah. Getting better. It's good. Great. Now, what we do, Charlie, oh. is keep going and okay. we keep cracking eggs into this. So yeah. the egg's going to set it. So oh. six eggs. Ah. Okay. Wow. How fine do you want the parsley, Simon? That'll that'll do. Is actually Tim. That's beautifully done. I Thank feel you. like my whisking is not great. Well, it's not the best well, this, you've seen. All you're doing really is mix it together. That'll do us actually. Simon, we'll, can we'll, I ask you a question? <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah. When you, when you ended up on Strictly, you ended up becoming more famous than you already are, even though you're a huge star. <laughs> yeah. You must have posed for more photographs. Did you have your own particular stance? Um, I wish I had. I, I always felt my, my problem when, uh, when I was doing Strictly is I felt mm. I had weak leg. This is not... R Just oh. one. In what? Or your stance? Well, so, I'm no, not I'll, talking about so, dancing here. So basically, here. So, when, when I, so now I'll sort of I'll sound quite strong leg. Oh, well. Right? Uh, so I'll have Ch strong right leg. Yeah. Charlie, and there's loads of pictures of me with kind of. <laughs> oh, you were doing what? I was doing weak leg. Were you doing indie pop star? And yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. That, Whereas what I wanted was. That's it, that's indie. Strong leg. Guys, we look like we could be in a band. Look at our outfits. Yeah, so now, yeah. This is, this is in. This is indie. What's the, yeah. this the is, blue jeans? This is Tory. <laughs> uh, what am I in band? Yeah, do you want to know my style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so pull Michelle, your jeans up a tiny bit. We need you to judge bit. this. Oh, oh, okay. yeah, judge you've it. You got to squat really like low, all the and knees. then one leg out in front. You kind of got to oh. go side on, oh, that's and then the sort thing, of stick your butt out. You know, give the people what they want. And then just sort of. You could like throw up a piece. Throw up a piece, yeah. you know, wow, this tongue is out, rude. whatever you want. But this is the pose. And, like, the further out the leg is, the better, you know? You've got to really stick the butt out, guys. I think you could Make be barking up the wrong tree with these two fellas. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys look, you guys look hot. It's really good. The mums I, are going to love, <laughs> <They're, they're gonna laughs> love it. I found that. The mums. They're going to love it. Well done. They're Brilliant. I found that tough, <laughs> tough on the groin. I did. Yeah. Tough on the groin, tough we on the knees. We did do full European warm-up there before we started. We, we <laughs> did, yeah. We did. That is okay. just really soft. Oh, right, get that in there. We'll, do, okay. we, we'll do it in next year's calendar. We, we're yeah, we're shooting that soon, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. That could be, what could that be, something summer when we're just in our trunks? Yeah. <laughs> and your red boots. Maybe August. Oh, a little bit sick in my mouth then. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies at home <laughs> <laughs> for that image on a Sunday morning. Then it goes on a parsley. So the aim of this is to get this as smooth as you can, Charlie. God, OK. It's not Good going luck. well. Come Sorry. On. Come on, Charlie. Come okay. on, come on. Let's work out. I, I mean, the thing is, Charlie, in reality, you would take your time on this. It would take okay. you sort of seven or eight minutes just to get that mix right. You know, we're doing it in, in, in a minute kind of thing. Right. So okay. once that comes together... Yeah. Let's pretend that's obvious. <laughs> then all yeah. we do is we dollop all of this onto the top and press it down. Mm hmm And then you have this lovely cheesecake mix. Then you sprinkle a little bit more of the cheddar cheese on top, a little Perfect. bit of the parmesan on top, okay. and we bake it for about an hour. And when this much in the middle is still a little bit wobbly, yeah. take it out, because the residual heat will cook it and will hopefully stop it cracking. There's so much fat in this, it might well crack when you cook it. Don't worry about it. It's going to taste delicious. It ends up looking like this. I'm quite excited about tasting Yeah, this. wow. So, it's lovely. so what you've got is this lovely flavour of the roasted cauliflower, plus you've got the bit of herb, we've got the cheddar cheese in there, the biscuits give this lovely nutty flavour on the base. And you can eat this cold, you can eat it warm. And it is such a nice flavour. Yeah, caught on the paper. Looks good. That sits on there. And with it, to cut through all of this kind of sweetness and delicious cheesiness, a little bit of tomato chutney sits on there. Charlie, come and stand. Little bit. Wow. Take that. Fresh. Thank you. Doing your head in. Yeah. Parsley <laughs> on there. 
sprinkling of black pepper. Sure, I don't think you can do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we've got dairy in there. Amazing. Chocolate on a cheesecake. Yeah. Chocolate on a cheesecake. Chocolate on a cheesecake. I'm probably going to give that one a minute. No, come on, Tom. My favourite.